What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. So I had a few days off but now I'm back with yet another action camera and who would have ever imagined that there could be so many action cameras out there. So the one that we have for today is called the DIE7 and it costs somewhere around $90. So this camera it's interesting for a couple of reasons. The first reason is the fact that it can record in real 4K and that's not something that we see every day. And the second reason is the fact that it has electronic image stabilization for 4K recordings. And that's not something that we see every day, mostly for cameras under $100. The E7 is using the iCatch V50 processor and this is in fact the first camera that I've seen with that processor. And we also have the Panasonic 34112 image sensor with a field of view of 170 degrees. So we are going to start with a very quick unboxing. So the E7 comes in a black box, nothing special about the box and inside we are going to find the camera and the waterproof case. And like most action cameras that we've seen in the past, this waterproof case is good to up to 30 meters in the water. Aside from that, we have a user manual and the user manual is in English and a whole bunch of other languages and it may be useful if you've never had an action camera before. There is also a carrying pouch so you can keep the camera in that and we also have a whole bunch of mounts and accessories but maybe not as many as we've seen for other action cameras in the past. Moving on to the action camera itself, so the whole thing is made out of plastic and even though those pictures that I've seen online look pretty cool, in reality it's not that cool and it feels a bit cheap, but I mean what can you expect for under a hundred bucks. On the front we have the power button and a couple of LEDs and unfortunately those LEDs cannot be turned off. At the top we have the recording button and that's also the button for the Wi-Fi and there is another LED around that button and uh, once again you cannot turn off uh, those LEDs and we also have the holes for the microphone. And since we are talking about the microphone we might as well check out some sample recording so you can see how the microphone sounds. Alright we have our first microphone test to this new action camera that I'm trying out. I'm currently in the car, the windows are closed and the only thing you should hear is my voice. So this is how the microphone sounds under these conditions. Alright, we have another microphone recording. This time around I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and the stabilization is also on. As you can see I am outside and it is a bit windy but uh, just a tiny bit. So this is how the microphone sounds under these um, conditions. And this is our final microphone test. Um, once again I am outside, I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. And obviously I'm holding the camera in my hand and I'm talking from behind um, the camera. So this is how the microphone sounds under these conditions. And as you've heard for yourself, the microphone doesn't sound bad at all. Alright, so moving to the left hand side of the camera, there we have the micro USB charging port, we also have the HDMI out and the slot for the SD card. So this camera can record while it's charging and that's important for a couple of reasons. The first reason would be the fact that you can use this camera as a dash cam in your car and uh, there is a car mode available so you can select uh, if that's what you need. Secondly, you can use this camera plugged into a power bank and that's great mostly if you're into time lapses because um, time lapses do take a long time. And talking about time lapses, yes, this camera can make a time lapse uh, by pressing one button and uh, this is a time lapse that I've actually done with this camera. And moving back to the camera and all the way at the bottom there we have another LED and as I said earlier you cannot turn off those LEDs. We also have um, a screw hole so you could technically place this on a tripod and a little plastic door that lets you access the 1100mAh battery. Like most action cameras the battery life it's not exceptional but you're still gonna be able to get about 50 minutes of recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. On the other side of the camera we have a couple of buttons that let you navigate through menus and lastly on the back we have a 2 inch screen. So this is not a touch screen, doesn't have the best viewing angles and it doesn't get that bright. So it really depends where you are and how you use the camera but at times it may be difficult to actually see that screen. As I mentioned earlier this has electronic image stabilization for 4K recordings at 30 frames per second. And I guess we might as well check out a couple of samples with the image stabilization on and with the image stabilization off. And as you've seen for yourself the image stabilization works but it's definitely not the best that I've seen. So the camera can also make a Wi-Fi network and you can control it from your smartphone. Of course um, this is a feature that we've seen for a lot of other action cameras in the past and like always you have to install an app on your smartphone. Once you're connected to the camera you can see everything that the camera sees right on your smartphone or tablet but as you can probably see for yourself there is quite a bit of lag in there. You also have access to all the settings right from your smartphone and you can also start and stop recordings from your smartphone. 
Next we are gonna check out some daytime video recordings that I've done with this camera and all the recordings that you're about to see are recorded at 4K at 30 frames per second and uh, with the IMI stabilization on. And as you've seen for yourself, the daytime recordings look quite good. I mean, they would have probably been better if I would have had like sunshine, some blue skies and um, some green trees, but um, it is what it is. So next we are going to check out some recordings that I've done at night time. And as you've seen for yourself, the nighttime recordings don't look that great. I mean, they're quite grainy and uh, quite dark and actually darker than most other action cameras that I've tried um, on the channel here. So if you're planning to record stuff at night, this may not be the best um, camera for you. And since this is a camera, of course, it can also take pictures. And the pictures that you are seeing right now are um, taken with this camera. And I have to say, the pictures do look quite good. Using the camera it's also fairly simple, the on off button is also a mode button so you can switch in between picture taking mode and video recording mode with that button. Each mode has its own settings menu so for example if you're in the video recording mode you can change the resolution, you can change if the image stabilization is on or off and so on. And of course like most action cameras we also have a general settings menu and in there you can change more general settings like the language, you can format the SD card, you can change the time and so on. So to conclude this video, for 90 bucks you get a camera that can record in real 4K at 30 frames per second and we also have electronic image stabilization for 4K recordings. Now the electronic image stabilization is not the best stabilization that I've seen so you're still gonna see some shaky footage and if you're planning to record anything at night, well the nighttime recordings don't look great at all. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did like it press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, thanks for watching.